earlier on when he got off of it, Roscoe. He was on the freeway for just a moment. I don't think that there's any kind of plan to this guy's driving. Basically, what this guy is doing right now is just opportunity. He's driving fast, driving reckless. Whenever he sees an opening, he's going to take it. Uh, still working our way southbound on Balboa. Uh, you can see right now, luckily, not that much traffic around there, and the car actually kind of slowing down. There we go, some black and white starting to get behind them. Satakoy, the next cross up here. It is extremely busy out here in the valley all the time this afternoon. It is probably more than moderate traffic. Continuing on, though, driving a little bit more conservative, if that's a, a good word right now. But this uh, chase definitely continuing on, at least one black and white behind him. A dangerous suspect. Does he have a gun? Is he armed? You know what? He's dangerous because he's driving reckless with that car this afternoon. lucky almost every time you're really moving along with that car it like i said chrysler 300 everybody it, it, it's a pretty common vehicle if it has that v8 it is very powerful uh, you know the law enforcement they looked at having those cars for their uh, for their police cars but they said it's just too torquey if you can believe that meaning it has too much power uh, right now though we're start we made that westbound turn we're in the lake balboa area I always get these confused, I'm just being honest. I think we're on Victor, uh, uh, Van Owen right now. No, we're on Victory right now. That's what I always get confused, Victory or Van Owen. But we're definitely westbound. We're over here by the dog park. It's continuing on. White Oak's going to be the next cross. And you can see what I'm talking about. He's just using opportunity. Wrong side of the road, avoiding, a, avoiding another collision right there. And this is what's making it so dangerous. And again, just high speeds this af afternoon, trying to get away from the officers. They have the helicopter overhead. They have one unit behind them. But they, you know, this person, dangerous. They need to get this person off the streets. Northbound. Wrong side of the road. R wrong side of the road. Got a little squirrely right there. I believe we're going to be on white open. This is basically what we've been seeing the whole time. I believe we're on White Oak right now. We're going to be northbound on White Oak. We just passed through Van Owen. The next major is probably going to be Sherman Way. You know, there, what can you do? What can the officers do to bring this to an end? They've been trying to do this, kind of just letting it go a little bit, just relaxing, just falling back. Just went Sherman Way right there, but you saw that. It just blew right through that light, no regard. Very lucky for the public that nobody's been injured. This driver, no regard this afternoon, or that's the way it seems. But uh, it, how are they going to bring this to an end? That's that's the big question, LAPD. Coming up to another intersection. You see those brake lights coming on. Hard turn. Oh, boom. There you go. That's another car he hit. Oh, jeez. And, and now you're seeing some, some damage to the front of the car right there. We're going to swing this the helicopter around a little bit. That's right. You know what? Did you see that accident? I feel bad for those people that got, that were on the other side of that. Front of the car now, very damaged. You can see that front fender, the driver front fender, just crumpled up. A lot of smoke. Whoa! Did you, oh, 
you know, it, 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 you just, every time we, we go through those intersections right now at these high speeds, I'm just thinking to myself, please, 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 nobody in that intersection. He's continuing on right now. You can see that car doing what you're saying, wiggling even higher speeds now that he's been in that collision. Parts of the car coming off as he's driving. Tires, they seem to have held through that crash. Coming up on Balboa, we're on Satakoy and through Balboa and this is in this street right here there's a big hairpin coming up he does he's going to have to make some kind of hard maneuver uh, as, and he's keeping up these high speeds we're going to stay a little bit wider i'm just hoping that there's no other people that are going to be involved if this comes to a crashing end there's the turn right there that's going to be Havenhurst that's going to be a hard turn and he's swinging it around on Havenhurst right there and it continuing on heading back over towards Sherman Way so you can see how fast this guy is going. Now the car is damaged, armed. I, I, am, I am just at a loss for words. I couldn't imagine being law enforcement in this situation. What to do to keep the public safe? This person, a complete menace. We've seen several collisions. One, I would call more than moderate. Coming up on Sherman Way, uh, just passed, uh, uh, yeah, we already passed it, passed Sherman Way, and uh, just continuing on now, southbound, on Van Owen, extremely high speeds this afternoon. Van Owen and Havenhurst is where that last accident happened, carjacking suspects. 